through onto the bridges, through the buildings, off the big air. Come on, Joshy boy. Don't fuck it up now. Two corners left. Break before the ramp. Over the rumble. Lovely, doubly. Here we go. Last corner. Don't fuck it. Don't fuck it. Over the line. Yes. No. No. G'day, guys. My name's Josh. You can call me Zawoodle and welcome back to 7 Days to Die once again where I am here to finally finish off the main construction part of this racetrack. It's taken me two episodes already. This will be the third and final one of like heavy construction. There will still be one more at least of uh, actually like racing on the track with some other people and maybe one in between of like adding some of the extra things. I'm not sure if I should do that in an episode or if I'll do that outside of filming. Like add, add like the billboards and like the barriers and all that kind of stuff. I've gone through, speaking of barriers, and actually added a bunch of the walls throughout the city circuit. I don't need it over in Jawoodle Park because I mean it's got the actual like roadway over there so it's really easy to tell where you're supposed to go but in the city when there's a bunch of different roads you need to have the walls up so you can see where you're supposed to be going so this wall i built a long time ago but for the rest of it i've just kind of got this like just one block high doesn't even much bigger than that just to kind of like guide you around the circuit nice and gently and also stop you careening off into the wilderness so all the way around i've cleared out all the grass as well i've made ricardo's corner look just a little bit better put all the rumble strips down cleared out all those stupid pillars that i kept running into but all in all it all comes together really, really well. I've also just built this thing over here. Like a nice little ramp to drop off of. I, um, I, I was going to go like a slope down. Decided not to do that because that would have been way too much building. So instead, you're just going to come down here, drop off the cliff, into the tunnel, and away you go. Oh, we're almost done. We're almost there. Now we're just going to get through this last little city block and back to the start finish line and we are good to go. So rather than the well, mildly boring option of just following the road all the way down here, turning right at the other parking garage and then down, I kind of, I don't like that. I want to put some more corners in. The more corners there are, the more chances there are for people to misjudge their braking zones, hit a wall, bounce off in other cars and cause general carnage, which is kind of fun. I kind of like the idea of that. So I'm going to go this way around the back of this little building here turn left back over to here and then onto the main road and then do something down to this little neighborhood block down there don't know what we're going to do down there yet but that is our later josh problem current josh needs to figure out whereabouts the corner needs to be uh because uh if i just put that there did that line up that mostly lined up a bit of a a bit of like fucking, uh, freaking the tits out on the edges over there but that's okay can we just does that match up nicely with the with the corner that's the main thing i don't care if there's a spasm inducing thing going on over here as long as the corner matches up i'm a-okay oh how are you looking oh you're looking perfect look at that it's nailed it Oh, I'm so glad that worked first time. Normally, I have to like place and then de-place and break and then place again, do all that kind of stuff, and try and build the the corners from like a, a, text, a bunch of different attempts. This one works straight off the bat. That's so good. I love when a plan comes together. And when I say a plan, I mean just like asking something more than classing something and hoping that at the end of the day, it all sticks together in one kind of like straight line, uniform sort of way. That is absolutely perfect. A little bit of overhang just here, but that's fine. I can deal with that. That is exactly what I wanted it to be. Get rid of that garbage can. It's floating middle of the air. I wanted to hug that corner nice and tight, so you have to take it slow. Not like some, with some of the other chicanes where you can kind of like hop over the rumble strip. With this one, I'm going to make sure that you do it properly and not just kind of cut this corner you come up to here uh that, that, that was the wrong one they've got too many pieces of different different road you can never figure out which one's the right one put some road along here just like no no go in the right spot this is this is what i contend with all the time it like sits above like the actual part i want to place it on which just drives me up the freaking donkey wall uh let's go all the way from there to like yeah, that'll be enough. Okay, go clear all that. And hopefully, that'll just like, give me a nice flat ground to place the thing. Yep, yep, no, no, damn it. Come on, please, just go in the right spot. For those asking, this is why a build takes me like three hours. Damn it, that's not far enough. Three hours to get like the job done to make like a 15 minute video. Just because the test, there's so much just like piss farting around, doing absolutely nothing of value to anyone, but just trying to get it to look nice. Because as I say all the time, aesthetics matter. I can't have my racetrack being all off its tits and shit it has to look nice and be functional that's what that's that's half the challenge not everything works out the first time or even the seventh time he's gonna sit here doing the same thing over and over again until finally it goes in the right spot like that oh yeah like that there we go perfect
Normally, I like to stick to like the limits of the road as much as possible. Don't go outside the lines. So like all the way through here, you know, you've got a little bit of leeway because I'm, I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking if I can use my THs rather than my Fs. I'm thinking that if there's a couple of cars cruising down here at the same time, the road's pretty thin. You may only get like two abreast before you just run out of, <laughs> abreast, until you run out of, generally an eight-year-old, until you run out of road space. So if it's three wide, you're not going to make it round. So that's why I've given you some like little breathing room on either side but coming around to here i kind of want to like i want to integrate this like this concrete uh, patio here so rather than i'll just get rid of that rock there because that'll break an entire jeep apparently because that's the way this game works if i use this corner here and put my rumble strips all the way out there then you can you can cut this corner the thing i like about the rumble strips and why i keep putting them on all the corners even when there's a little bit of room to, to cut it is that it's a gamble sometimes the risks pay off sometimes you might hit the rumble strip and you might cruise on through and nothing will and nothing bad ever happens to you who knows but sometimes you might hit it and because the physics in this game are up their tits uh, you might flip upside down go over the top of a building and end up in a fucking whoop whoop so i like i like the risk and reward of the rumble strips which is why i put them in so you might want to cut this corner i mean you can still you've still got a lot of room to cut it all the way out here it's a little bit lumpy it's not as smooth as the tarmac you might you might lose some time or lose control if you cut this you can get a nice run on down into here and uh, that way that's so cool i like that a big nice big fat corner i'm actually really happy with this normally it takes me a long ass time to build any sort of section of track but this whole section here that i've just put down took me maybe 20 uh, just over 20 minutes 22 minutes to build all of this that's the that's the far that's the most amount of track for the least amount of time since i started building this racetrack i mean it took me ages to figure out how to use all the blocks properly but now i've kind of got a method to my madness i can do it a whole lot faster but or to put that success behind me and start thinking about the next part which is going to be through here so what i'm thinking is going to go around the side of this building down here through this part here which means i just need to get a little bit of a, a, a winky dink on uh on the road to get that, that nice little like the swell that i put on after the uh, the drop over here the night this little s bend over here not much but enough to kind of just shift your left and right to get into the opening between the buildings down here right about here is this the right is this even, it is the right block okay we need to go where where is it just there i think it is it doesn't quite match up but that's okay it still works for me um huh is that is that the right spot or is that two on its tits that might be two on its tits ah well that's gonna be unfortunate the building like the, the gap between the building and the hill isn't quite the size of a road i thought it was pretty bang on turns out i was mistaken so if i just put the road in like that uh, I mean, well, I mean, I need to fix it a little bit. But that's right. It shows me where I need to go. I need to cut into the hillside just a little bit. Let's put the road a bit further down even again. Uh, no, no. Where? In the right spot, please. The same spot you had before, just further down. Oh, my God. So annoying. <laughs> Sometimes the blocks in this game just do not do what you want them to do. And it really gets on my nipples. Uh, see what I mean? Sometimes things just don't work the way you freaking expect them to. I got a fucking zombie in the invincible bush. I've decided to take out some of the road, and I, I definitely decided it was a grave decision. Definitely not because I couldn't get the blocks to actually match up properly and uh, force my hand. I absolutely made the decision all by myself to just get rid of the roads just through here. I'm going to put a big like, arrow sign on that building there to point which way you're supposed to go so there's no like confusion about it. Let's just um, finish off the wall over here as well. So then when you're coming down the road and you're like, oh my god, where am I going to go? You never have that problem because there's a giant arrow in your face pointing you in the direction you need to turn yeah that, that should be fine you can't get out anywhere else anyway so through there down here we're gonna go around the back and i've got something pretty exciting to do I, I decided to do this a while ago when i was first playing out this track that is come up the back here up here and then through this window through this building out to the side through this building drop out out of here back onto the road up here turn right and look there you go you're back at the start finish line again we're gonna make a tunnel through some buildings why not got tunnels everywhere else why not one more we can have tunnels on tunnels on tunnels i hope you like tunnels so i put tunnels through your tunnels on your tunnels i'm really hoping building a ramp up into the sky rather than out of a tunnel is going to make life so much easier i mean it was pretty difficult to build when i had to hollow out the ground in front of it and then you know like each step of the way was a bunch of excavation work uh i should have enough room to get up high enough i think i don't know we're gonna, we're gonna find out all right so there is the first step and the next step's gonna be okay can i just like put it straight onto it actually can i just continue on the chain 
No, nah, doesn't want a bar of it. Doesn't want a bar. Damn it. Turns out I was right. It is easier to build a ramp up rather than through the ground. However, I barely made it to like this level here before I got to the yellow building. So I need to get some extra elevation from somewhere else. So I've deleted all the road and I'm just going to go up from this point instead. I'm going to start the rise well, well early. So just spin it all the way around. Right round, baby. Right round. There we go. When you go down, baby, when you go down, down. So I'll just put it like there and then go like here. Probably uh, just need the two for now and go like that. Look at that. Oh, no. Well, if I had to put it down, right? Anyway, you can see that the process of putting the road down is so much quicker if I just put it down in the right spot. Like, like, shit. Holy crap, it's ended up at exactly the right level. Look, I've punched a hole all the way through this building, all the way to the other side. And it's, just, it's perfect. Look, the floor's at this level. All the way through, still at that level. All the way through. And then all the way across to the road. That is absolutely perfect. I can't believe that worked out so well. So... Now that I have my gigantic ramp up the side of the cliff, I also, like, building this thing, I accidentally made my new favorite corner in this entire thing. Look at this. It's like, it's more than 90 degree. You come around, you've got to keep turning and swivel back. That's a, it's a wicked corner. Don't know how I made it. I made it by accident, but I've got it now, and I freaking adore it. Okay, so now, just one more bridge straight across there, and then we're home and hosed. Oh, we're almost done. I can't believe it. we're almost done building the racetrack. I'm so excited. I'm too scared to break this building with like with a, the clear selection command because I don't want it to like collapse the roof. I want this to be like a tunnel. I want this to all be still be standing once I'm done destroying everything in the middle of it. I don't know. Hopefully there's no like like load bearing pillars or anything in my way. So I'm very delicately and very deliberately going to go through. I mean all the stuff in this, all, all like the the random gubbins and shit in the middle of the room. I can get rid of. In fact. This is a hollow room. I didn't even pl I didn't even come and check this before I did this. I just I was just in the way. I was like, "Fuck you! I'm gonna tunnel through you." This is a giant cavity of a room. There's nothing holding it up. That's perfect. It's all running on these ribs. Oh yes, yes, nice, Gary, nice. And come over here, straight through here. I mean, I'm gonna have to take out some support over here, but that'll be okay. I can I can make it work. This is gonna be so good. I'm gonna try and do this smart. And before I hollow out this building, I'm gonna try and like build some extra support to try and keep it standing after everything goes wrong. Once again, I am rebuilding a part of the world. Seems to do that quite a lot these days. So that should hold up there. Each one of these columns is gonna get rebuilt and refurnished and try and hold some weight. If it doesn't, then the whole roof is gonna come down on top of me and that is going to suck several camel dicks. Let's avoid that if we can. Uh, you're not doing anything. Let's replace you with actual steel. There we go. Okay, so all along here. Alright, so that's, that's going to hold it up like that. What about on the other side? How's the other side looking? I mean, there's some supports near it. Not quite as near as I'd like. Maybe I'll just go like this. Maybe I'll just go through and get every kind of cavity that I don't think is uh, structurally sound. Replace it with stainless steel and hope to God that it all works out in the end. Well, no time like the present. So let's get all the outskirts of this uh, blown away so that we can see if it's going to hold itself up. Just just the top row first. Don't need to worry about the, the rows underneath. Don't make the game think about any uh, like structural uh, stabilities other than the ones we're deliberately testing. And look at that. It totally worked. It totally worked. Thank Christ. Now that we've got that one out of the way, we can just go through and go to the other side of the window and go there and go OK. And then clear selection. Wait, did that do the whole thing? Uh, it was this one as well, wasn't it? It was. Damn it. I always, always forget the last one. You know what? Let's just do the whole lot. Let's just do it all in one. Boom. Good. Good. Ah, uh, perfect. Now we can continue the road. Man, I love building. If I could somehow, if there's a way that my, my entire job could just be building like racetracks, is that, is that a thing? Is that a job people have? Could I be a race a, 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 a racetrack designer for the rest of my life? I could totally do that. that. Sounds awesome. If I could, there we go, place it there. Look at that. I mean, I doubt they'll let me build racetracks through the middle of buildings in real life, but I mean, the thought's there. Now for the final little piece de resistance. My French is not good, but my ideas are, is just like this, like there, or oh, how... How I need to build my little building dick needs to come out just a little bit further like that. No, okay, too many. I thought I was getting, I knew I was getting greedy. You can't get greedy. All right, get up here and just like uh, that. Damn it. No, okay, I need to figure out why you're not working. You should have lots of structural stability going all the way down to the deck. Are you not actually touching the bottom down here? Is there something going on that I don't know about? Is there something sus happening? I don't know. I would, I would have thought that would work. Maybe I have to build like a support from the bottom. I don't want to though. Surely I can just make it work from up there. 
There we go. I extended my building deck just a little bit. It's a little chode, but it's doing the job. It's holding up the ramp. So you come out of the building ac across the bridge. Man, I, I fucking love this track. I love this track so much. I don't want to build a new one now. Like, maybe I don't want to build a be a racetrack designer for the rest of my life. I'll get too attached to one track, and then I won't be able to build another one ever again. But you come through here. You come flying through fast as you like, all the way through the buildings, under the lights, out the other end, squeeze through this little gap at the end, come flying off here and land on the track back down here and i've only got like 30 feet left of track to build and then the track is done oh my god i'm so excited to race on this bad boy we are done look at that we've finally gone around the entire goddamn world and come back out the other end and it's all connected with concretey goodness before i go do the test though i need to do i put in a couple of walls just like especially for like the big bridges over here you can't be driving around 50 feet up in the air with no sort of walls to protect you and, and keep you in. This is a race track. It's not a death track. I mean, it's kind of a death track. In, in, in fairness, if you're driving on this, you must have a death pitch. But it still needs to look the part. It still needs to look like a race track, which means you need some safety barriers all the way along. See, that looks better. If you go to a racing circuit anywhere in the world, there will be safety barriers. So you've got to have safety barriers in this to make it look the part. Aesthetics are important. And aesthetically, this looks like a race track now. And I adore it. People have been saying that I should make like a death track a, a, a death race track which I kind of appreciate I mean 7 to die has blade traps and spikes and death everywhere why not make a circuit to try and race through the death but like for this one I wanted it to be a, a, a proper like Grand Prix circuit I mean it's got cliffs and jumps and shit but you know aside from that like something that actually resembled what I'm going for and just putting just a simple line of blocks along the side makes it look exactly like it and I freaking love it that'll do I think if you fall off on the straight ramp part then you deserve to fall off and that's your own problem need like a quick little wall just along here to separate this part of the track from that part of the track so no dodgy bastards can like duck over the sand dune and you know take a nice uh or half a track shortcut i have to hoard them off before they even get the chance and then i need to put some rubble strips in and then i think i'm all but ready this last couple of this is like just tidying up now there's more things i can add to it later to like make it more like a racetrack but like the actual track part of it is so close to being done I almost forgot to give myself an actual start finish line. I mean, you can't have a race without a finish line across or a starting line to cross to start it. This is that's just silly. Why, why did I almost forget that? It's like this, the second most important part of a racetrack other than like the cars and well, I mean, I guess the track itself. All right, check a plate all the way along. Wait, do I even have... Isn't there like... How does that look? Because that's like... Oh, that's better. That's better. I like it. Screw making my own finish uh, start finish line. I can just use the checker plate. I guarantee if I didn't like uh, remember that, there would have been so many comments pointing out. Be like, Josh, you fucking idiot. There's a checker plate already in the paint. You don't have to build it yourself. Well, I remembered and I did it myself. So don't freaking worry about it, mate. There we go. Look at that. The checkered line to start and finish the race. I think we are all good to go. I think everything's ready. So without further ado, let's... Oh, shit. Ow. Okay, that was a bit dumb. Let's get this race started. So, uh, final checks. One more lap around the circuit to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. And then we can start racing. All right. Let's see how we go. Three, two, one. Bam! I really need, like, like, the starting lights or something. Don't I should get, like, the, the F1 lights. So, the lights are out and away we go. Oh, over. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. I actually took that really well. I was distracted through the first chicane and around the first corner. Onto the back straight. I'm making good time. Hey, maybe I should do this all the time. Maybe I should just talk, like, absentmindedly. Just ramble on. Maybe that's the entire point of all the content I make. Maybe that's how I do my best work. When my mouth is just moving and the frames are dropping into the Monaco tunnel, the lights are on. That did not work out well for me. I didn't manage to hit any walls, but those frames dropped right at the worst moment, and I almost got cleaned up onto the apex of the Monaco tunnel. All right, up the ramp. Over, not too fast. Get your wheels on the ground before anything else happens so you can start accelerating faster than if you were just floating through the air. Almost hit the wall. Almost lost the front wing. Man, I'm so tempted to put like an F1 car into this now. Drive it around. That would be cool. But that is a job for later, Josh, because current Josh no, has spun out. Oh, he's done a rookie move and he's cooked everything. 
Fuck! No, I was going so well! I'm disappointed with myself. I was driving fantastically through, I'm into the new part of the circuit now as well. I was doing so well, I would have set a really good time to beat, but now, I mean, I'm still going to set a time to beat, but now it's going to be relatively easy to beat it. You just need to not fuck up like I did. All right, through the the overturn? I don't even know. I need to think of names for all these corners. I've got Ricardo Corner, the Monaco Tunnel, the bridge, the jump, everything else. I've cooked it again. That's two big mistakes. Everything is coming to a close now. I'm really doing badly. The pressure has gotten to me off the big air into the second to last round it. Yep, there we go. Over the rumble strips and up to the finish line. What's the time going to be? I have no way of knowing. Over the line! No way of knowing what my time was because I don't have a stopwatch on me. I probably should have done that. That would have been smarter. That's all right. That was just the warm-up. That was qualifying. Practice session on Friday. We're coming up to race day on Sunday now. I've warmed up. We can do it again. Okay, here we go. I am ready to set my time in my Jeep. And for extra cinematic goodness, I am going to turn my HUD off. So it was just me, my car, and the racetrack. Plus, I have my stopwatch here. Well, my screen is really dirty, I noticed. My stopwatch here, ready to go. So three. Oh, wait, no, not three. Let's point straight ahead because I need time before I can get back to steering. Three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. Let's see how we can do this time. I've had my warm up lap. I know what I'm doing. Just need to make sure I don't cook anything through the first chicane. I've immediately cooked it. Oh, I've binned it in the first three seconds. Fuck it, we're starting again. All right, here we go. Warm up is over. This is for all the marbles. Three, two, one, go. Start at the stopwatch on time. We're good. Okay, this time, don't bin it on the first chicane. Don't do something dumb. Take it easy. There we go. Through, through. Lovely, lovely. All right, and then around the next corner. Nice and slow. Didn't get back on the turbo because would have cooked it and span out. Okay, here we go. On the brakes. Turn into the corner. Nice and wide on the out. That's that's what you need. If you want to take the exit of the corner, the faster you go. Into the Monaco Tunnel. Lights on. Brakes. Easy left. Hard right. Don't. Oh, scraped it. Scraped it. Lost the edge of the front wing. It's okay. I didn't lose too much time. Downforce has been reduced, but will be okay. Uh, break at the top of the hill. Nice. That's some good air off the jump. That's fine. That's fine. Got my wheels back on the deck. Nice and early. Get around. Lovely. Darvely into Ricardo corner. This is going to be the best one. We've already got through half the track, and now the pressure is on. If I cook it this time, then I've wasted a very good fucking son of a bitch. I refuse. I built this goddamn track. I should be able to drive it. I shouldn't be so bad at my own creation. Right, I'm going to go again. Start again. Three, two, one. Away we go. Okay, this time, just fucking drive it properly, Josh. Yes, this has gone just as well as that last time before I bit it on that corner. Got through there. Okay, through the rough stuff. Over. Through the car park. Yes, good, 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 good. Okay, the car park is the scary part. If I'm going to cook it, it's going to be in the car park because this place is impossible to drive through. I've made it through, even with the camera having a fucking heart attack. Got through by only clipping a post into the mossy tunnel, which I only just named just then because I had moss on the walls. We're good. Okay, we're going to town. Frame has dropped. Oh, I hope I didn't lose any time there, but I fucked. Oh my god, the frames! Where did the frames go? They were gone for like a fucking second. No! I'm mad. I'm even mad. The frames literally disappeared. I couldn't say, like, the game just stopped for like a second and a half. How am I supposed to drive when the world stops moving? Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Off we go. Oh, I just want to set a freaking time already. Got through Mossy Tunnel perfectly into the triple chicane. Oh, I've done that so well. Oh, a little bit of drifties for good luck. I've done that perfectly. Break, 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 break. I got so excited about triple chicane. I was going way too fast into the ramps. If you fall off here, you cook everything. Get around. Oh, that was ugly. That wasn't great. Coming off the jump before the turn is really hard. Got to break before the top of the jump. Through onto the bridges. Through the buildings. Off the big air. Come on, Joshy boy. Don't fuck it up now. Two corners left. Break before the ramp. Over the rumble. Lovely, dovely. Here we go. Last corner. Don't fuck it. Don't fuck it. Over the line. Yes. No. 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 I dropped my phone. I was reaching for my phone to stop the timer and I dropped it. Oh, I don't know what my time is now. I'm going to have to wait to post to figure out what the fucking best time was. Damn it. I did, I did everything right and then I fucking dropped the phone. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't matter too much because I'll have the time on the, on, in post. I can figure out what I got, but I did that so well. I want to know now how good I did. 
So before I do this next bit, I need to give a massive thank you to Jayek or Mayek or whatever name he wants to go by because there's two of them. So whichever one you want, thank you, Mayek, for making all of the road pieces I've used to build this track and putting up with me messaging you and being like, hey, I need this kind of piece. Can you make it for me? And just generally being awesome and making this entire thing possible. So a massive thank you to you. I can't actually give the mod pack for the race pieces out. So the explicit deal for me, for him doing this for me was that I don't give out the track. I didn't ask why. That is just the rule. So that is fine. This lives with me forever. But I will make tracks for you guys to watch and play with. Don't you worry about it. But the other thing I need to thank Mayek for is because apparently he lives inside my head before I even know it. Before, when I was saying, I wish there was a Formula 1 car so I could fly around this track. I feel like a sweet race. I feel like Danny Rick late dive bombing on people and taking them up the inside. That's a, that's referring to racing, not taking anything up. No, stop. Stop. No. Bad. When I was saying that, he's apparently already got inside my head. He didn't put a Formula 1 car in the game. He could, he will when I ask him to because I haven't told him about that idea yet. But what he has done is he has modified all the Jeep specs so now they are super fast and super scary and super racing and awesome. So now whereas before they were pretty slow, now they're going to do 75 meters per second which is fucking quick. So I'm going to try and do another lap in a super speedy racing truck and see how I go. I'm going to start the stopwatch even though it's probably ridiculous to think I'm even going to make an entire lap out of this, but we'll see how we go. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay, right. So off the get-go, oh, it's about the same acceleration, but we're getting up to some pretty serious speeds into the first chicane. Take it easy, take it easy. Don't spin out. Oh, up onto the railings. Whatever. Still counts. We rode the wall. Need to stick up on that shit and get my full Tony Hawk underground two shit going on. That was a better corner. I took that really well. God, it feels quick. It feels nice. It's harder to control. I mean, I'm doing a pretty good job of keeping it looking like it's actually a normal truck, but it's so much harder. Like, there's so much more fine tuning on the mouse going on. The frame dropping is not helping my cause. If you could optimize your shit, Seven Days to Die, I would very much appreciate it because I can't fucking drive when the screen's not refreshing. Because if the world's not moving, I don't know where the corners are. Anyway, away from that, around the corner we go. We're doing really well. This has gone really well into Danny Ricardo corner. Yep, oh, I took that too slow. I let Danny Ricardo. Ricardo down. I did not take it at full beans as he would do. We're doing really well. It's like I'm, I'm talking shit and it's making me drive really well. This isn't going to go well though. The car park. Car park is the worst part of the whole fucking track. Oh, but I've got around it. Why? Am I, I'm suddenly really good. Somehow driving a super speedy uh, 4x4 Jeep has made me fucking good at driving. What is going on here? Into the triple chicane. My luck has to run out eventually. This is all one take. It's all one cut. This is insanity. Can I beat the old time? I won't know because I don't know what the old time was. He's gone off. Oh, there's contact, Martin. He's doing donuts. He's gone into the drink. I should have put a fucking wall there. Oh, no. It's all gone awry. Coming into the last section, I knew it would too. That was the point that was always going to cook me. I mean, these this last section is the hard part. These jumps into corners are near on fucking impossible. you got to take them so slow. Oh, it's a shame. That's a shame. I wonder if, I mean, maybe in post I'll go through and figure out what my time was before I spat out and just like glue them together so I can know what my time would have been. What would have been? What could have been across the line? Oh, I'm so sad with myself. I could have... Okay, so I'm going to put in, like, right... Which way is my camera? But right, right here, right next to my face cam, I'm going to put what my time actually was. And then I'm going to put what my time for the first Jeep was. And then underneath that... I mean, I, I, for, I forgot to stop my time, actually. But it's uh, only now, it's at 2 minutes 20, which means I can't give you an idea for what the rest of the time is going to be. So only now, when I'm watching this myself, will I realize whether I could have done better had I not fucked that last corner and what my time was for the first Jeep. Oh, that was intense. That was very, very intense. Fuck, I'm so glad I finished my racetrack. I freaking love this shit. So I will have to go and build some of the other stuff, like the extra walls and some of the, the, the advertising boards and the corner markers and all that kind of stuff. The things that make racetracks, racetracks cool. I'm going to have to build outside of film because that'll take a long time. But then I'll come back into Shibuta World, hopefully with some other people, some subscribers and some Patreons and the people who make my channel as great as it is. I want to bring them in and race against me in this world. But oh, have to do that in another episode because this episode is done 
So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like, make sure the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. But don't talk to you there first. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.